All right, welcome to the Monday Booze and Views. Views. Tonight, I'll be giving you my views on this Jefferson Reserve, right? It says on the bottle, very old Kentucky straight bourbon. Very old. Well, I, I, I'm here. I'll top it off, but I've already been, you know, I've been hitting it. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. I'm allowed. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Very smooth going down, maybe a little burn in the back, a little bit of heat in the back. Got that, the good caramel taste. Woo! All right, booze and views. Views. I said views. I'm going to give you my views on this booze. All right, so, hey, we're doing the, uh, the 12 days of giving, right? Um, we gave away from Watchman Woodworking, we gave away a cutting board. Um, and I will announce the winner at the end. So if you put in for the cutting board, this could be your time. I'm just saying. All right. So what's going on in the world? First and foremost, right? First and foremost, uh, this is kind of weird, but, uh, Australian SAS soldiers under a four year, uh, investigation into um, into what is being dubbed as war crimes, right? Um, oh, man, this is kind of weird. It was hard to read uh, a little bit about, hard to find stuff on, but essentially the Australian SAS, some people like to refer to them as the SASR, even though they're not the reserves, but uh, the Australian SAS... There was a war crimes report going over the last four years, and um, there are about 60 of these guys are expected to walk um, because they were lauded as war criminals, right? Um, two squadrons are in trouble, right? It's a four-year inquiry, right? Um, and all the guys are in an uproar. And I would say this, man, is this is what no one understands, war in general, is a dirty business, right? Everyone wants to see their army as this shining white knight and, you know, and we're going to be truth and justice and and sometimes shit gets fucked up and that's not always possible. You want to win wars? You know what I mean? Or you want to just fucking be lily white? There's there's an option here and and they ain't the fucking same, right? So... Uh, I would say this is, you know, they did a practice. It was it was called, the article said it was called blooding, right? You're blooding in kind of deal. And what you had to do was blast somebody kind of controlled environment. Um, you know, look, I'm not for killing people that don't need to be killed. But I would say this is like, you know, what you would figure as a war crime to a civilized society the other side of the fight doesn't give a fuck about you, your humanity. I can't tell you how many times, like, guys would get fucking, you know, captured by Afghans. They'd cut their junk, their dicks off, stick them in their mouth. I can't tell you how dirty war actually is. But, you know, we're going to sit back here and drink from the bottle of hindsight and judge everybody, man. Kind of crazy, right? So, hey, here's to the boys down in Australia uh, I think you guys done just a fine job. And if it wasn't for the fucking beta males of this world trying to make the alpha males look to be the bad guy, we wouldn't have any of this shit because fucking beta males ain't winning no fucking wars. Just saying. Just saying. And then again, the Australian guys could have been just deucing people. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, okay. We'll go. What's going on next in the world? Okay. Two guys died at Fort Bragg here. Uh, it appears to be one unit guy and uh, a former army guy. Kind of weird. I can't find anything on either of them. I've, I've talked to some people around here. I've heard nothing. I don't know anything, right? But um, kind of weird that two guys turn up dead in a training area on Fort Bragg and they suspect foul play. Right. 
at the same time as server farm raids, at the same time as, you know, uh, there was casualties. And I'll tell you this is the army is not about to conceal casualties. The army will just come out and say, hey, we took casualties. Now, it's a matter of how they share the story around that. Look, I'm not putting on a tinfoil hat tonight because I'm just drinking in my kitchen. So just relax. But, uh, you know, coincidence? I don't know. And then the next thing is two guys died in a training area that weren't training. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. But I'm just telling you what I read, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't know what was going on out there. Um, you know, the official army statement is... You know, guy with 19 years of service, right? Headquarters, special operations, right? Um, you know, died in a training area, although he wasn't training with another guy, right? So uh, this is kind of strange. I mean, I, I know guys that have died in training. I know guys that have died while they were, you know, we had a guy who he died on a run one morning, right? And and, you know, uh, ended up being a heart attack. But um, so what I would say is it's not unusual to lose a guy in training or even not in training. Not uncommon, right? We're all born to die. Deal with it. Don't let it ruin your day. However, uh, this is kind of weird that two different guys, neither of which had any health problems, right, uh, died in a training area that they weren't training in. Right. So this is uh, this is kind of one of them stories is, you know, we'll probably talk about this again because why? Because we don't know all the facts yet. So, um, yeah, this is kind of one of them strange things, you know, and neither one of these guys, you know, seem to be unhealthy or have any health problems. CID suspects that uh, foul play is at hand. So who rolled up and, you know, dropped two dudes out here on Fort Bragg like. Kind of crazy. Anyway, um, I'm sure more on this will follow, right? All right, last thing we're going to talk about today is the leader of the NFAC. Oh, you don't know what that is? I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to take a drink. Ooh, it hits you different. It hits you different. Anyway, the NFAC, Grandmaster J. The not fucking around, not fucking around coalition. Grandmaster J was arrested, right? Uh, his self-proclaimed militia, he was arrested, right? Why was he arrested? Pointing weapons at federal agents. <laughs> so, so, hey, these guys, they go around like, look, and I'm all for this, right? They, they mass, they carry guns, right? I'm all for this. Like, this should be everyone's right. You want to throw a rifle on your back, go full Mandalorian when you go to Walmart? I say rock that shit. I'm not going to fuck around with you, right? And I don't want you fucking around with me. So uh, I'm all for these guys, right? But uh, supposedly in one of these protests, they were in a little standoff with some feds and ends up eating charges Grandmaster Jay's in jail right now, right? Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you know, uh, he started to, you know, they were they were trying to get justice for Breonna Taylor. We've talked about this, right? Not even going there. And then he ends up getting charged for, you know, pointing weapons at feds. <laughs> so uh, kind of crazy story, but kind of full circle, right? You go around in public, you organize these ra these rallies for guns and, and then you end up getting busted for doing that same thing, right? Kind of crazy. All right, so let's take a drink. Here's the Grandmaster Jay and not fucking around organization, coalition. Sorry you pointed guns at feds, dog. <sighs> Woo. All right, so 12 Days of Giving's going on right now, and uh, we gave away a cutting board. I don't know if you've recognized the theme of this year, but it's pretty much barbecue, right? We're still giving away a grill and spices and grill grates and a cover and 
everything you need to get started, right? So that's coming on the 12th. If you haven't signed up, go to the website, right? 12 Days of Giving, go sign up, man. Sign up, you might win, right? If you ever wanted to grill, this is, this is the time to have everything show up your house at one time. But um, the winner of the cutting board is JKB Flowers. So, dog, hit us up. We got a cutting board for you. Remember, this is my opinion. I'm probably wrong. Uh, it's not the news, views, news you need. It's the views, news you deserve. <laughs> hey, cheers, guys. Happy Monday.